Right, you guys got another video. This tool makes Windows 11 better. If you don't like this menu system here in Windows 11, like myself, a lot of people are in the same boat. They just hate it. It's big, it's bulky, and it doesn't really do too much, really. And if you want to change this, you can do. Now, Start 11 has actually released a brand new version called Start 11 version 2, and I'm going to go through and show you some of the features of it and what it looks like once you get it installed on Windows 11. Now, this monstrosity that Microsoft released with Windows 11 is just unusable, and in my opinion, it wasn't finished. So Start 11 have come up with a piece of software that allows you to change your Start menu to whatever you like, and you can customize it and get it the way you want it to make Windows work better for you. So let's go ahead and download it. Now, it's not free. It is about $5.99 to buy, but I think that's well worth every penny seeing that you're going to get all of the updates regularly by Start 11. And this is not a sponsored ad or anything like that. I just use this program all the time and I prefer to use something like this rather than having a default start menu from Microsoft. So I'm just going to get the software installed. There is a 30 day trial, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the 30 day trial here. And you will need to put your email address in and click on that email address and it will then allow you a 30 day trial. You can have it aligned to the left if you want to, or you can have it aligned to the center. Now, each style of menu comes with a sub style of menu, which you can use on this drop down tab here. Basically, this will allow you to do the compact Windows 7 style, grid style, and so on. There's a ton of them and they all are the same for every individual, like modern style, Windows 10 style, Windows 11 style, Windows app style, Windows Pro style, and Windows launcher style. There's a, a few to choose from, and you have that sub style on there as well. I'll just quickly go through them here. These are, of course, unfinished, uncustomized. You have to customize these to your liking, and you can do quite a bit with this piece of software to customize it just how you like it yourself, whether you want to mess around with the transparency or whether you want to mess around with the colors and you want to add your own uh, applications onto the front panel here. So I'm going to stick with the Windows Pro style here because I think that looks quite nice and it looks something like Windows 11. So I'm going to stick with this. I just think it's much more usable than the Windows 11 start menu that you get. So I'm going to stick with the Windows Pro style and we can now configure the actual menu itself by clicking on the configure menu. This will open up a bunch of different areas where we can go into and customize it to our liking. For instance, the shortcut list, you can add and remove these as you like. You can also manage the custom filtered folders on here as well. So if you wanted to do that, you can do by clicking new and adding these in. I'm not going to cover every single aspect of this program because there's a lot to go through here. There's also a customized menu visual appearance and you can change the color for this as well by clicking on pick color and you can change this if you like here, just like so. Choose whatever color you like. You can match it all with the taskbar as well. You can adjust the menu transparency effects as well and you can use the mica effect if you wish and this just basically makes it like a mica effect where it's black. And you've got a lot of uh, browsers and stuff using this feature right now. So if you're using a dark theme mode, you would probably like to use that. I'm leaving it as is like this because I prefer this look for what I'm trying to go for. And again, you can adjust the uh, background as well, the transparency. Let me just quickly show you that part here under the menu background transparency level. You can just come down here and pull this slider backwards and forwards depending on how much transparency you want. Also, we've got the fonts and you can change those here and the sizes of the fonts. And we also have the visual touches as well. If you want to go through here and customize these, you can do. We have use custom menu background. If you want to change that to your own custom menu background, you can do. And this will be your own images that you can use. You can use custom buttons, but you will have to have the menu on the left hand side to do that. And this is if you want to enhance the taskbar here, you can have it. Uh, so the taskbar button should be combined and you can have this always, sometimes or never. You don't have to customize that part if you don't want to, but you can do if you wish. Also, primary monitor, secondary monitor. This is your taskbar position. You've got your taskbar size here. You can change all that up as well. 
And we also have uh, some other areas like the search control where you can uh, basically make some customizations in here. We've got your settings back up here if you want to make a settings back up of all the things that you change. So just in case you have to reinstall Windows, you can quickly put those settings back. So I've been tinkering around here. You can see you've got a nice transparent look here. You can customize your applications on the front pane here so it looks quite nice. And you can add more in and you can take some away depending on what you want. You can put them in color blocks here as well. There's loads you can do with this actual menu system. It just looks a lot nicer. You can rename these groups and put them in groups so you can organize them a bit better as well. And with that little side menu on the right hand side here, it just makes it much more useful. You don't have to start double clicking on things to get to a certain area. And you can just click on the things that you need and get access to them straight away. So all in all, that looks already a lot better just by tying it in here. I've also got the transparency look going on the bottom of the taskbar here. So depending on how you want your menu to look, you can customize it to the way you like. And in my personal opinion, this is what Microsoft should have done from the outset. They should have done something like this to make it look something when you're installing Windows 11 because They've done it for everything else, but they've just seemed to have left the start menu as this big, ugly block of uh, color that you can't really do much with. It just looks horrible. And I don't know about you, it's just unusable. And it just really lets Windows 11 down. I don't know whether they're going to be working on a new start menu or whether that's what they're just going to give you. It's just massive and ugly. And if you're one of those people, let me know in the comment section below whether you like the start menu in Windows 11 or whether you dislike it. I'll be interested to read your comments. But I'm gonna go in here, make some other changes here, and I'll show you what it looks like with a more solid color and less transparency. So let me go ahead and get this changed up so you can see. Now remember, you can change the styling of the menu to something that you want, but I just like this look. And you can also expand it and make it longer or thinner, depending on how you like the look of your menu. And again, you can have it over the left hand side with a more Windows 10 feel to it if you wish, or if you want something like Windows 7 feel, you can do. And if you don't like the transparency look and you want a more solid color look, you can do. You can just go in there and change the color of your taskbar and the menu to less transparency, and you would have something looking like this. You can change the height of it and the width of it to suit your needs so you can get more icons on the screen that you use on a regular basis. And this just speeds up productivity and makes things a lot more easier to use, in my personal opinion. And I just think this is a much better menu system than what Microsoft are offering with their Windows 11. I'll be interested to read your comments whether you prefer this particular style of menu. And remember, there is quite a few of them to choose from. They're completely customizable. So let me know in the comments section below whether you're a real fan of the original uh, Windows 11 start menu that comes with Windows 11, or you would prefer something like this that you can get from Start 11 software. Give it a trial, it's only 30 days and it ain't gonna cost you anything. And if you like it, it's only gonna cost you six bucks to actually purchase the software, which I think is an absolute bargain for something like this. Anyway, I think that's gonna be about it. I just wanted to bring this to your attention in case you're like me and you hate the Windows 11 Start menu and you wanted to find another option to make Windows 11 more usable, in my personal opinion. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. I'll leave the link in the video description if you're interested. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support, and I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.